in the early stages, it wasn't even like it wasn't even like a thing to be like, yo, I'm like this is what my career is gonna be. It was more mm-hmm. of like a hobby to kind of keep my mind focused. Um, you know, it wasn't up until I really started recording full length songs and really falling in love with the art. That's when I really started studying, you know, studying other engineers that, you know, are black engineers, people that might look like me. You know, I couldn't afford the music schools. I couldn't afford a lot of those things. So the internet, you know, YouTube and forums were like the only things that I really had to my advantage to to research. And like, you know, I didn't even know it was a business, like the recording arts, I didn't know it was a business. I just knew I liked putting audio parts together to create a final product. Right. So I was doing my research and, you know, um, got better equipment, uh, you know, um, you know, reached out to local talent, local artists that I knew were doing their thing and, you know, had had more hands on experience by working with them, mm. which I think kind of elevated just my, my skill at an early age. It's funny because to the kids out there, if they wanted to get into what you do, it's 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 got to be 10 times easier now. Right. A thousand percent. You were figuring it out from scratch when there was not a fucking guidebook. It's still probably a challenging thing to learn, but you get to go to YouTube and type, how right. do I do this? And exactly. There's going to be and I think it's more of a stigma thing because it's like it's that notion of, you know, you have to go by the book to become an audio engineer. And you have to know your ones and zeros. And right. that's what really discouraged me in the early on. Cause like, bro, like I'm not about to go to school. I couldn't afford it. And like, I'm not, I'm, I hated authority. Like you're not about to tell me how to do something when I can just figure it out. So, you know, now it's more of like, there's no limitations to how songs are being created. So kind of mm-hmm. just fucking throw it against the wall and see if it sticks. 